Ratio analysis is a question that appears frequently on the higher and ordinary level papers in business. We're going to look at one of the ratios that has come up, the debt equity ratio. The formula for debt equity ratio is as follows. It's the business's debt, which is explained as long-term loans, divided by the equity, the ordinary shares and the retained earnings. The debt equity ratio examines how much long-term debt the business is in. If the ratio works out to be higher than one is to one, we would say the business is highly geared. It has a lot of debt. Too much debt is bad for a business because it will mean the business will have to pay a lot of interest every year on that high level of loans and it will also reduce the profits available for the shareholders. They will have lower dividends. And also, the more debt a business carries, the greater the chances that business has of going bankrupt. To explain, we're going to take a look at the 2009 higher level question. This question was marked for 20 marks and the first step always in ratio analysis questions is always to write out the formula very clearly for the examiner. Even if you were to get the answer correct and you didn't show the formula, you would lose marks for not showing the formula. The next step is to find each of the numbers from the question. So we were asked to work out the debt equity ratio for 2006. The first part of the formula is long term loans and you can see the long term loans are 300,000 euro. We enter that. We then divide by the ordinary shares plus the retained earnings. In 2006, the ordinary shares were 450,000 and the retained earnings were 50,000. The formula then becomes 300,000 euro divided by 500,000 euro and our answer is 0 0.6. You must remember in the exam to express that as a ratio so it's 0 0.6 is to 1. 2007, the exact same procedure. The long term loans are 364,000. The shares are 450, the retained earnings are 70. That works out to be 364 divided by 520, which worked out to be 0 0.7. And we expressed that as a ratio, 0 0.7 is to 1. The final part of the exam question was to comment on the significance of the trend for the shareholders in the business. Trend in the exam means the change from year to year. So 2006, our debt equity was 0.6. 2007, our debt equity is 0.7. I would advise you to make four comments as follows. The first comment should be, what happened? Did the number go up or down? So my first comment you can see on the screen, the debt equity ratio has increased from 0 0.6 in 2006 to 0 0.7 is to 1 in 07. Your next comment should be, is this a good thing or a bad thing for the shareholders in the business? And I wrote down, this is a bad thing for the shareholders because the business has more debt. More debt means more interest to pay, and more interest will mean less profits left over for the shareholders, lower dividends. And also, more debt means more chance they will lose their investment if the business were to go bankrupt. Your third comment could be a reason why this has happened, and our debt equity ratio has increased because the business has increased its loans from 300 to 364,000. Your final comment should be a suggestion or a solution to the problem in the business, and given that we have borrowed more, and our debt equity ratio has increased, my solution says that the businesswoman in future should not borrow more money, she should sell shares to raise the money she needs for her business.